What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday evening. My name is Fareed and as a part of today's video, I want to talk about the current reward sharing scheme for Cardano and the delegation process. Now along the way, I am going to be learning some information with you guys. So bear with me and if there's anything that I need to be clarified on, feel free to do that down in the comment section below. But I want to also talk about some of the existing parameters and a potential SIP coming to the network that could solve all of our issues. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you guys into the Cardano spot. If you guys have not heard of the Cardano spot, this is going to be an up and coming platform specifically for Cardano creators and Cardano content. And so go ahead and watch my previous video, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below. If you guys want to find out more about how to actually join the existing beta for this platform. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be chatting a little bit about Cardano's reward sharing scheme and SIP number 50. If you don't know what SIP stands for, that stands for Cardano Improvement Proposal. Now, in the Cardano ecosystem, we have to vote on different SIPs. And so I believe this is one that is still in the works. But once it's ready, the community will have the opportunity to either accept or deny this particular SIP. So scrolling down just a little bit, we're going to get into some of the background and then the issue that we currently have right now with the minimum attack vector or math value on Cardano. Jumping into the article, it reads Cardano rewards stakeholders for securing the protocol. The protocol allows for pooling of resources into a pool, which is run by a stake pool operator. Now, the reward sharing scheme aims to bring a state where the stake is decentralized and distributed to favorable and honest actors. Now, the current reward sharing scheme, or RSS for short, puts a cap on max rewards for a pool in order for it to be decentralized. And it also incentivizes SPOs to pledge their ADA. So there's two key pieces that I want to talk about right there. Number one is that SPOs have to have a pledge in order to run a stake pool. And again, this enforces that they have some skin in the game while managing their members' delegations. The other point is that there is a max in terms of rewards for a pool based on the delegated amount that's in that pool. So I believe right now it's anywhere between 64 to 70 million. But once a pool is fully saturated, they'll begin to have diminishing rewards for any additional ADA that is delegated to that pool. And this is done to ensure that once a pool is maxed out, that all the new delegators have to go and find a new home, which then drives further decentralization of the Cardano network. Moving down into the result of the current RSS or the current reward sharing scheme, Cardano currently has 3000 plus stake pools with a Nakamoto coefficient of 25 compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum's two and three. The system is stable, but hasn't shown an improving trend and decentralization for nearly a year and a half. So this means that while Cardano is quite a bit more decentralized, right, than Bitcoin and Ethereum, we are getting to a point now where that decentralization effort does seem to be a little stagnated. So there's been a lot of questions and concern within the community as to how we can actually raise this math value, which is the minimum attack vector value, right, which again is sitting at about 24 to 25 for Cardano compared to Ethereum and Bitcoins two and three. And so this is where SIP 50 is going to be coming in. And let's talk a little bit more about that scrolling down below. But before we get into that, the first thing we need to do is understand the current parameters around the existing RSS. So Cardano is designed so you can tweak different parameters which affect decentralization or scalability through governance. So again, the community will be voting on these different SIPs that could tweak the different aspects around how the stake pools effectively run. Let's look at the RSS existing parameters. So we've got the min pool, the pledge influence factor and the parameter um, or the pool saturation factor. Starting at the very top with the min pool fee, that's a fixed cost of 340 ADA that is directed to SPOs or stake pool operators from delegator rewards for each epoch 
with at least one block. So if a state pool, which is relatively small, has a single block that they mint throughout the entire epoch, 340 of that will go directly to the SPO with the remainder going to the delegators. Now, the min pool fee is added to decentivize Sybil pools, right, which basically is small pools with no pledges, right, um, in order to basically have more than 51% of the network. So this disincentivizes the creation of a ton of small little pools with little to no pledge. Moving down into the second factor for the current RSS, that's referred to as the pledge influence factor or A0. Now this incentivizes the SPO or stake pool operators to put a stake in the system and to yield higher rewards for their delegators. If A0 is increased, the importance of the pledge also increases. And then thirdly, we've got the K parameter. Now, K parameter helps determine the max stake in a pool that receives awards, creating a soft cap on the pool size. Currently, K equals 500, so we can have 500 fully saturated pools with around 35 billion ADA or 70 million each. And so that's what I mentioned earlier. That's going to disincentivize everybody from running to one single stake pool operator after they hit that 70 million ADA limit. Now, the issue with the current platform is that due to the min pool fee, which was the first item that we discussed up here, that is basically disincentivizing or making it very hard for newcomers trying to make the network more decentralized to get up and running. So as it states here, the community's case against the min pool fees has been that it disincentivizes honest and small stake pool operators. Their delegators get rewards of anywhere between 1% to 2% compared to the average 3.5% that bigger SPOs can provide, which also makes it difficult to bootstrap a, a new stake pool. Now, this creates a divide where individuals are financially incentivized to prefer bigger and decentralized pools. And that makes complete sense to me. So as a newcomer into the space, you only get mint, you know, a low amount of blocks early on. And if half of that reward goes to the stake pool operator and the other half goes to the delegators well there's no incentive for the delegators to stay with that small stake pool if they can just as easily go and stake to a bigger stake pool and get an additional one to two percent in terms of their delegation rewards and so not only does this work for the bigger existing pools it also just keeps things that way and again it makes it very hard for new entries to come into the space now the next part of the article is going to talk a little bit about the size and how impactful the current ada pledge is and exactly how that could be fixed as a part of sip number 50. so currently the pledge factor is less effective since most stake pools have less than a 1 million ada pledge while some private pools have a 70 million pledge since the difference in rewards between a 100,000 and a 1 million pledge pool is small most spos don't have an incentive to actually pledge now this can all lead to centralization in the long term if we don't fight it now scrolling down to the bottom of the article we finally get the introduction of sip number 50 and as it states here sip number 50 is going to be a complete rehaul of the existing cardano reward sharing scheme dubbed rss v2 now it introduces a new parameter called leverage or l which measures the stake to pledge ratio and replaces a zero now a zero if you look back above here was the pledge influence factor so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to replace that with the leverage factor now this can range from ten thousand to one now a value of 100 requires pools to pledge one percent of their stake so we're not going to have a direct correlation to how much um you have to actually pledge depending on how much people are actually staking with your pool and if you have one as a part of this l value that would require all pools to have 100 percent pledge now that i think is quite unrealistic that would mean that if you know you have 5 million pledged or 5 million delegated to your stake pool, you'd have to also have an equivalent 5 million pledged, which that I don't think is sustainable. But I think having a fraction of that 
could be sustainable. And again, that could level the playing field for everyone else. So now taking a look at an example, if we have a stake pool with an L value equal to 100, that pool with 500 million ADA delegated to it would have to have a minimum of 50K ADA pledged. Now this increases the pledge importance and it also incentivizes multi-pool operators to consolidate their pools. Now you may know that right now there's also a ton of multi-stake pool operators with an ecosystem and they normally get a lot of bad rep. Now some of it is deserved, some of it not so much. Again, I can't necessarily speak on that, but if this could force them to consolidate their stake, um, again, that would be really good for the network. Now pledge is the anti-Sybil mechanism, which we talked a little bit about at the top, which can then let us reduce the min pool fee to less than 30 or even zero. So again, if we're able to reduce that min pool fee, that would then level out the game field for all the newcomers, because at the end of the day, we would now be focusing on the pledge. So whether you have a, a stake pool with 10 million ADA in there, or you have a stake pool with only 10,000 ADA in there, everyone is paying or putting up the same amount in terms of percentage for their pledge. So again, that really levels out the playing field. And so in closing, SIP50 is not scheduled for inclusion in Cardano just yet, but it will have to be seen if it makes its way. And also many more SIPs are proposed, which touch on the existing reward sharing scheme, which will be covered in the future on the Cardano spot. So again, just to summarize, we have an issue as it stands right now within the crypto community in which running a smaller stake pool compared to a bigger stake pool is very hard, especially since there is no incentive for the community to stay with the smaller stake pools. And with the introduction of this new L parameter as a part of SIP50, if it makes it through, could change how that operates again, potentially removing the min pool fee while also leveling the playing field, giving us a fair value that everyone has to pledge, right? And putting more importance on the actual pledge amount, depending on how much of a delegation you have within your stake pool. So this was a great learning experience for me. Hopefully it was for you guys too. And if you guys found this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by and you have any questions about how this process could work or any questions about SIP number 50, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure to do so. It really does go a long way. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking around. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.